Number 60. Complete the changes in concentrations or pressure if requested for each of the following reactions. And then we have this example out of the bunch. So we need to find out the changes in concentration for 4 NH3 gas plus 3O2 gas, which comes to equilibrium with 2N2 gas plus 6H2O gas. Okie dokie. So we have to find out these changes based off of the information that they gave us. So they said for O2, right, the change was a positive 3x, right? They didn't say that it was negative, so it's got to be a positive value, and that the actual change was 0.2 formularity. So now let's first work with this uh, uh, line here, which represents what the x values would be. Well, if the reactant is increasing, this is literally an increasing, right? Plus means increasing. That means that all of the reactants have to be increasing, and all of the products would be decreasing. That's what equilibrium is. If one side is going up, the other side's got to be going down. So, since this was a positive value, I know that the NH3 had to be increasing, and the two products would have to be decreasing, aka become minus values. But now, what are those values? That comes from the coefficients. I have a 4 a 3, a 2, and a 6. If you noticed, since we had three O twos, we went up 3 times a number. So what do you think what would happen for the 4 NH3s? We would increase by 4 times a number. What do you think for this? This would go down by 2 times a number, or 2x, and then this would go down by 6 times a number. So all you're doing with your changes, it's, it's just going by the coefficient values. Okay, now we just got to get the actual value. Well, in order to do this, we have to find out what the x is. If you've noticed, the x is constant throughout the whole thing here, but the difference is that what you know number they're being times by. So we have to find out what a single x is, and then we can just multiply it by 4, 2, and 6. So this is the piece of information that we know. Well, we know that 3x equals this total change, 0 0.24. So I can just use my math and divide by 3 from each side to find out what x really equals. So x would be, what, 0 0.08, 0 0.24 divided by 3 is 0 0.08. If you wanted to add a sig fig here, you would just add 1 at the end. I'll do that for the actual answers. But now we know what a single x value is. Now for this one, for the NH3, we're going up by 4 times that number. So what do you think? Yeah, we would just have to do 4 times 0 0.08. And this one would be 2 times 0 0.08, and this would be 6 times 0 0.08. Keep in mind, these are coming down, right? So they're decreasing minus this would be increasing. So let's see. 4 point, uh, 0 0.08 is 0 0.32 molarity. And I like to keep these as positives and negatives just to make it stand out. So this would be a positive 0 0.32. That means that the NH3 concentration is rising. This would be a positive 0 0.24. But then when we come over here, these are both going to be negatives, meaning that it's going to be dropping. So 2 times 0 0.08 is 0 0.16. And then 6 times 0 0.08 is 0 0.48. And there you go. These are both molarity values. And those are all of your answers. So if you want to highlight them all, there you go. But I don't, I don't think we need that, right? You guys got it. So anyway, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out. We're almost at 15K, so let's keep, you know, increasing the number. And we wouldn't be here without you guys. So we really do appreciate you all. Thank you so much. And I will see you in later lessons. Okay, bye-bye.